Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Liz and today's video I have some really easy and simple farmhouse DIYs for you. So let's go ahead and jump on in. For this DIY, I found this mini wood cutting board at Hobby Lobby for $3.99. I just thought these were absolutely adorable, so I grabbed several of them. And I'm going to start by taking this Dixie Belle Paint and Fluff. This was the first time that I had used Dixie Belle. And I just, you know, was in a mood to try new things, different things, you know, get get my feet wet a little bit with some other things, change some up a bit. So I dry brushed this paint onto the entire cutting board, front and back. And then I'm also going to use some chalk couture, which I'm really excited about. I purchased a bunch of these after seeing... Kristen K used them on her channel and I just thought that they were the coolest thing. So I purchased several of them and tried them out myself and loved it so much that I also became a designer. So I'll leave the link to Chalk Couture in my description box below, but I just thought these were so much fun. These are just a little farmhouse country chic kind of set where you get multiple designs and this local market one was really really cute and I thought it would be adorable on the front of my cutting board so I just used my black paste and used the tiniest amount to put it on there and then removed the transfer and that's it super super easy and it looks really really great so next i'm going to take some buffalo check ribbon and i just wrapped it around the bottom and hot glued the ends to the back and then i'm going to take some twine and i am also going to wrap that around the bottom of my cutting board a couple of times and then just tying it in a double knot And then I took more of that buffalo check ribbon and I'm just going to tie a simple bow with it. Just taking two loops and tying them together and then adjusting the loops to how big I want the bow to be. And then I grabbed a couple leaves of some lamb's ear and I hot glued that down to one corner of my cutting board. And then I'm going to take that bow, cut down the tails, and then just hot glue that right to the top. And then the last thing to finish it off is I'm just going to take some twine, run it through that hole at the top, tie a couple double knots, and that's it for this DIY. I think this is so much fun and it's perfect for any kind of farmhouse home decor, especially in your kitchen. I think this would look super, super cute. So this is how this one turned out. For this DIY, I'm going to start by taking one of these metal bottle caps that you can get at the Dollar Tree, as well as one of these candle holders that is also from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to start by removing that twine from the top of that bottle cap, and then I'm going to take this Dixie Belle paint in Vintage Duck Egg. This color is beautiful. I had a subscriber recommend Dixie Belle to me, and so this video was the very first time that I'd ever tried it out and already I can tell that I'm a little bit obsessed. <laughs> I only had to paint this maybe one and a half times. I painted it one, gave it one good full coat and then just went through and touched everything up afterwards. The coverage on this is amazing. It's a little bit pricier, but I feel like you pay more for really good quality, which from what I can tell from what I've used is the case. So I'm just, I'm loving it. I love this color. It was absolutely gorgeous. So I'm excited. If you use Dixie Belle, let me know what colors are your favorite. I might have to do a little more shopping <laughs> to get some more paint. I can't find Waverly in my local Walmart, Walmarts anymore, but 
Um, I've had some amazing subscribers send me some antique wax from Waverly. Thank you guys so much. You guys are so, so sweet. I will be set for the next five years, <laughs> but I am so appreciative of that. So thank you. So because I haven't been able to find Waverly in my stores, um, you know, I just kind of wanted to change things up a bit, see what else was out there and, you know, try, try something new. So, so far I'm loving the Dixie Belle. So I'm just going to take the square side of my candle holder, which is technically meant to be the bottom, and I'm going to use some hot glue and super glue, and I'm just going to glue that right down to my bottle cap, and I'm just making a little tray. I thought this was really, really cute. I went back through and just touched up the paint where I had scratched it up a little bit. You could also do a clear coat sealer on here so that your paint doesn't get scratched off in any way when you're putting things on top of it but I just think this turned out so adorable and I am obsessed with this color. For this DIY, I'm going to take one of these Dollar Tree signs. Now, I loved the background on this sign. The front piece was completely crooked, so I wanted to take that off, and I tried removing it as best as I can so I didn't ruin any of that background. I just thought the flowers were really pretty, so I wanted to leave it as it was. I took one of these round wood pieces that I got in a six pack from Walmart and I just painted that with some Waverly chalk paint and plaster and I just gave that one good coat. After that I'm going to break out my chalk couture transfers again and I have this home sweet farm on there and I'm just going to fuzz it up a little bit so it doesn't stick too much to my little sign and I'm just going to put that on there and then I just want to show you guys how little amount of chalk paste that you have to use to cover this entire thing. It covers so much with so little. I was completely shocked and even with these little single packet uses you're going to be able to use this so many times. I just put tape over the top so that I could continue using it. So I just thought this was so much fun and after I remove that I'm going to distress it a little bit. I just took some antique wax from Waverly. I went around all the edges and then with a chip brush I'm going to go over it really really lightly just back and forth just giving it an overall kind of rustic more dirty and worn kind of a look. And then all I'm going to do after that is just hot glue it to the middle of my sign. And that's it for this DIY. For this DIY, you are going to need four of these palettes that you can get from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to hot glue them into a square just like this or I guess technically a rectangle and then I'm going to grab one of these mini canvas boards that you can also get from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to use this scrapbook paper that I picked up in a pack from Michaels and I'm just going to trace it out to the size that I need it to be and then I'm just going to use a glue stick to glue it down to my canvas board. Now once that is on there I'm going to take some more of my Waverly antique wax and I'm just going to begin distressing my sign. So I'm just going to go back and forth on the edges kind of dragging my paintbrush towards the middle and then I'm going to make some little distressed lines here and there throughout the middle of the sign. 
Once that is all dry, I'm going to take these rub-on transfers that you can get from the Dollar Tree, just these words or these letters, and I'm going to cut out the letters to spell Farm Fresh. And I just start at the end of each word or the beginning of each one word and the end of another. You can see what I'm doing here. <laughs> you can see it better than I'm explaining it, but I'm just lining these up as best as I possibly can. And then using a popsicle stick, I'm rubbing the letter down and then removing the clear plastic from the top. And then I grabbed some more rub-on transfers that you can find at the Dollar Tree and I picked up these viney ones that I thought were really, really pretty. And I just grabbed two of them and I'm going to put those down right below my words and then rub those down on there and remove the plastic from the top as well. Now I am going to take some lamb's ear. This is a pick that I got from Walmart. You get two in a pack and I believe it's two dollars so you're paying a dollar per pick. I'm going to wrap some twine around the stem and tie a double knot and then I'm going to hot glue my sign down to the other side of my little palette sign and then I'm going to hot glue my lamb's ear down and then I made a twine bow just by looping it around my index finger and my thumb just as many times as I wanted for how thick I wanted my bow to be and then once I have as many wrapped around my fingers as I want I take an extra piece of twine wrap it between my middle and my index finger and tie a double knot and then I just trim up the ends and hot glue it down to my lamb's ear and that's it for this DIY so simple yeah I think this one is super cute That's it for today's video. Let me know which project was your favorite in the comments down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye.